Welcome back. I'm here with our good friends from the Hogue Breast Group. This is Dr. Sadia Khan and Dr. Nirav Savalia. Thank you for being with us this morning. Thank, Thank you, Connie. You well, now you have something very special to tell us about today because you want to talk about oncology and breast um, aesthetics as well. So, Dr. Savalia, you are the director of, tell me, it's Oncoplastic. It's the name of the plastic and aesthetic breast surgery. And aesthetic breast surgery at the Hook right. Breast uh, Program. Mm -hmm. And then Dr. Khan, you are an uh, on <laughs> Program advisor to yes. Hogue uh, Breast Surgical Services in Newport Beach and in Irvine. Oh, that's wonderful. I, I'm telling you, it's a new word for me to learn uh, the oncological terms, right. and it's, it's very fascinating. So can you tell me, what do we need to look for uh, when p women are diagnosed? What, what kind of signs of breast cancer are we looking for? Um, so some of the uh, things that women should alert their physician about if they find in their breasts or on their regular breast exams mm -hmm. are breast lumps, I um, mean, any areas of the breast that feel more dense or firm yes. than other parts of the breast. Some other things that um, many women may not know about are um, nipple discharge is a common sign of breast cancer. Oh. Um, so some women notice that they have discoloration on their bra mm -hmm. that might alert them to that. Mm -hmm. um, also um, nipple inversion where the nipple flips inward. Um, if that's new for a woman, that, that's something to let your doctor know about. Also, a scaly rash or even a red rash that doesn't go away can all be signs and symptoms of breast cancer. My goodness. Well, thank you for alerting us to those. Tell us, Dr. Uh, Savalia, about the team approach that we can find at Hogue for women with breast cancer. So at Hogue, we have a multidisciplinary service. So when a patient comes in, uh, from the minute they have a diagnosis, they're paired up with a nurse navigator who takes them from diagnosis all the way through survivorship. Oh, that's wonderful. Right, so the nurse navigator helps coordinate all their care, including the pathologists, geneticists, radiologists, wow. breast surgeons, plastic surgeons. Everyone who's involved in their care from beginning to end is uh, coordinated through one service. The, I love the idea that you have a nurse navigator. The, the sound of that just instills trust and confidence in being able to come to Hogue when this does occur. So tell me, um, Dr. Khan, a, a little bit more about what women can look for for options if they have found that they've got symptoms of breast cancer. Yeah, so um, some of the surgical options that women have um, that we do offer in Hogue um, is kind of a complement of all the uh, possibilities. So lumpectomy is a common one where we're removing part uh, the cancer as well as a rim of normal breast tissue mm -hmm. to try to capture any of the cells left behind. And this is usually followed by radiation. We do have a special one-time dose of radiation that's given to women when they're asleep and some women qualify for this oh to my. avoid some of the six weeks of radiation. Yes. Um, and that's called intraoperative radiation therapy. Um, we have the largest program and the largest volume in the United States of that. Um, we also do different um, mastectomy techniques, so the traditional mastectomy with reconstruction options for implant-based or even um, autologous reconstruction or tissue from other parts of the body used to reconstruct the breast. And we also specialize in nipple sparing mastectomy, so we're able to save women's skin and nipple oftentimes. Oh, that's so important. Too. Yeah, and then there's a third technique, which is what we really specialize in. We have a robust oncoplastics program, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna let Dr. Savalia talk more about that. I do wanna hear about the oncoplastics program. Tell me, sure. uh, you, you did speak about the team approach. Tell mm -hmm. me a little bit more about what you offer. Well, this is the, the perfect blend of um, the art and science of breast cancer surgery where mm -hmm. the breast cancer surgeon is able to take out a tumor from the breast but leave the remaining breast behind wow. so that we can reconstruct the breast using whatever's left over mm -hmm. to create a beautiful breast at the end and even reduce the opposite breast or make it lifted or match the other breasts is what we're trying to do. So what it allows is many women who have tumors that maybe we're told many other places out there, their only option was a mastectomy. Yes. And instead, we can take that patient and allow them to save their breast, have a two or three hour surgery, come out of surgery having had all their treatment and reconstruction all done in one. Wow. So they're able to go home the same day, they're recovered in a couple of weeks, it's magnificent. That does sound magnificent because as we all know, for, for people who are diagnosed and then to not only have that very scary diagnosis, but then to bear the scars 
really for the rest of your life for treating that diagnosis. And maybe you are left with your health and you're left with your life, but you do always have this reminder. And what you're offering at Hogue is a chance to feel whole again. And it sounds like in one day. In one day, yes. And they come out of surgery with breasts that have sensation. That's oh, the most important thing here. Wow. Is that if you have a mastectomy, most patients don't understand this. If they have a mastectomy, their breasts are completely numb. Yes. They have no sensation. Mm -hmm. With this technique, they come out with two breasts that feel like their breasts, because they are their breasts. Yes. Right? Yes. And are soft, natural, and it's basically using cosmetic surgery techniques to reconstruct the breast after cancer surgery. And what is also, I, I'm going to use your word magnificent, is that <laughs> It, it does seem so severe sometimes when you get this, this diagnosis that can be so frightening that the treatment is severe. I mean, the yes. mastectomy, um, you feel, you just don't feel like yourself. Definitely. You do have the reminder, you do have scars, you do have a different look, you have a different way of living your life, but it sounds like at Hogue Breast Program, you're able to become, be yourself even with the diagnosis. You'll be able to be yourself again after the treatment. Definitely. One other common thing that's a misconception is people believe that with a mastectomy we're eliminating all of the risk of breast cancer recurrence, and that's not necessarily true. We actually leave 10% of the breast tissue behind even in a mastectomy. Mm. So in oncoplastic breast surgery, it's a better opportunity to still remove the cancer, get wider surgical margins, and women are usually the happiest um, when they've been able to have this procedure. Well, it's wonderful that you have the words oncoplastic, new word I learned today, with the word aesthetic, because I think that would give a lot of women confidence uh, to feel like they can meet this challenge of this diagnosis, if, it is, if it's one of their own, and that they can live their life afterwards in wholeness and completeness. And, and feel more like themselves. And feel more like yeah. themselves. Well, I do want to ask, um, what you, you did send me a note here that said, what, what kind of women might qualify for oncoplastic and aesthetic breast mm -hmm. surgery? Um, so almost every woman um, can have oncoplastic breast surgery. Um, it's not a very um, commonly um, used technique in mm -hmm. the United States, but we really do believe that every woman should be offered the opportunity for oncoplastic breast surgery. Um, it's used for women who can undergo lumpectomy, oh. and it can also be used in cases where other women have been told that they needed a mastectomy. We've been often, um, with the help of our um, amazing reconstructive surgeons, uh, to offer them the option to save their breasts if we're able to find a way to make it work with oncoplastic breast surgery. It just sounds like it's such a promise and a promising avenue for, for women who are diagnosed. And tell us, if we come to see you, and maybe, maybe a woman has not been diagnosed with breast cancer, what should she be doing now to reduce the risk and how may she come and learn and more about what you do at Hogue Breast Program? Let's talk about reducing the risks first. Okay, um, well the first part of reducing risks I would say is understanding your risks. So um, the average woman in the United States um, has a 12% risk of breast cancer um, in their lifetime. So that's one in eight women in the U.S. Wow. Um, so the average risk woman can reduce their risk by doing simple things. So the first one is really maintaining your, your optimal BMI or just staying in a normal weight range because obesity is definitely a risk factor for breast cancer. So BMI is body mass index? Yes. Okay. So obesity can le lead to Yes, and we believe that because the fat um, cells can be turned into estrogen mm -hmm. and that can also affect your risk. So especially for postmenopausal women, this is very important. Um, so along with keeping a healthy weight is really staying active. Mm -hmm. So it's recommended that women try to do about 150 minutes of uh, moderate activity during the week. Mm -hmm. But I just tell my patients, start with something simple. Just walk for 30 or 45 minutes sure. before or after dinner and to just stay active. Mm -hmm. um, Another thing that um, is not as commonly known is alcohol is a risk factor for breast cancer. Uh-oh. I know. So um, it's recommended to um, have um, about no more than one um, alcoholic drink per day, mm. but um, as much as you can reduce your risk, um, you know, that's the harder one. But um, another um, 
risk factor is tobacco use. So no amount of tobacco use is safe for breast cancer as mm -hmm. well as other types of cancer. Mm -hmm. um, we have an amazing program that helps women understand their risks. So if you have family members or first degree relatives with breast cancer or ovarian cancer, you might be at an elevated risk mm -hmm. and you should let your doctor know and we can help you figure that out. Well, tell me about that. So maybe you are at an elevated risk. You've had breast cancer, a history of it in your family. You do tell your doctor. Then what happens? How do we find you at Hogue? Um, so um, we do have a great genetic um, counseling department. So mm -hmm. oftentimes when you're um, identified at higher risk, you would be offered a counseling appointment to really map out your family history, which family members have had breast cancer, ovarian cancer, or other types of cancer. And then you would be offered a, um, a genetic test to identify if you might have the breast cancer gene. Wow. Um, so Angelina Jolie um, is kind of who brought that to the forefront, mm -hmm. but um, women who are at elevated risk and might be found to have that gene would even consider bilateral prophylactic mastectomy and even removing their ovaries. Oh my. Well, but this is so preventative. It's so wonderful that this genetic mapping yes. is offered so that any woman who has a concern, even a question, can really start meeting the challenge and meeting the charge by going to Hogue Breast Program and having this genetic testing done. Yeah, and so get a great understanding of where mm -hmm. they are at with their own health. Yeah, so not all women would qualify. We really look at your individual risk, mm -hmm. um, but some women who, let's say they don't have the gene, would even qualify for additional testing. So not just mammograms every year, but sometimes even MRIs. My goodness, and this is all done so close to us here at Laguna Woods Village. Exactly. Tell us how we can find you. Um, so uh, my office is in um, Hogue, Newport Beach, mm -hmm. and I'm also in Hogue, Irvine. Oh, good, yeah. good. So we can I'm see located that. at Fashion Island outside of, uh, uh, outside of Hogue, but mm -hmm. uh, I'm at Hogue pretty much three times a week. And I see my patients in the office, but we operate at Hogue. But it's wonderful that you're such good neighbors to us here at Laguna Woods Village and that you're so close by because this is a tremendous service and well just a tremendous blessing that you offer yeah. to people who really wonder about their health or maybe well along their way to understanding where they're at in this process you offer Definitely. so many wonderful solutions doctors thank you for being with yeah. us today thank you so much for having about us hug breast program and i learned a new word oncoplastic anesthetic breast, breast surgery. surgical right? procedures <laughs> perfect i've got it well thank you dr thank you khan so dr Zavala, for being with us Valia, for being with us and thank you for being with us and join us right after this. Ken will be back.